Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we came up with a new video in the series of design pattern. In this video we are talking about second solid principle that is open closed principle. So what is open closed principle? OCP defines that types like classes, functions or modules should be open for extension and closed for modification. It means that we are open to add a new behavior without making any changes to an existing code. Let's understand this by an example. You wrote a piece of code and after some time, your manager or client comes back to you asking to add a new functionality or behavior to the code. At such scenario, this principle will come as a savior to you. Let's see this in the implementation. Here we will be using a strategy design pattern for implementing this open closed principle. Here let's implement open closed principle using strategy pattern. Creating a folder for open closed principle and then the main class in it package main function main. Here we are going to write a code for an action game. So in this action game there is a kingdom and it has a king who is handling that kingdom. Type structure king and that king always has a weapon for fighting. Weapon of type weapon. Here we are defining the type weapon of type string. Now defining some constant for the weapons like spear, a sword, a dragger, and we will also keep a bow and arrow. which king can use for fighting purpose. So now king is having the functionality to fight. King is now fighting. Use weapon for fight. Here you can do like fighting with weapon and k dot weapon here k ampersand king and here we will pass a sword to the king and then use weapon here go run OCP main dot go here. So here now king is fighting with sword. Now your manager or client comes ask you to add functionality that king should also have a queen. So what you will be doing now is you will be creating a type struct queen and queen will also have weapon. and then the functionality to use that weapon and the queen will be using a sword so for queen object sorry she will be using a dragger dot use weapon now again your manager comes back and ask you to implement the functionality for soldiers 
as there is a king there is a queen and the kingdom which they are handling so for the kingdom there should also be soldiers for protecting that kingdom from the enemies again there is we are again implementing soldiers soldiers and they are using weapon for fighting like soldier and we are giving them bow and arrow for use and use weapon here we have three different point of contact for object king queen and soldier so here we are violating abstraction so instead of violating that rule what we should do is we should have a type struct which is fight and this struct should be handling the behavior of fighting for queen king and soldiers so the function fight which is of type fight and there should be interface so type interface which is weapons and here use weapon and what it will return it will return weapon which is this weapon weapon and weapon here we will be returning a weapon instead of printing it here we will return it to this fight function here yeah, again return return now this fight will take weapons interface and now this here we will be printing out print ln fighting with weapon w dot use weapon this will return us with what they are fighting so instead this you will also put who is fighting with what mm as print f putting this here of type fighting with w comma w dot use weapon so instead of using use weapon for all of the object we will only be using it for the fight object fight here fight f dot fight and passing it object k queen and also soldiers at 
49 okay we are having problem at 45 what is the problem we should have one more bracket okay this printed out fine we forgot to put this now the king is fighting with sword queen is fighting with dragger and soldiers are fighting with bow and arrow so now we can change it. like if we don't want the soldiers or at the run time we changed the king to use a spear so now what we can do here f dot fight and again king so now you can see it here first the king was fighting with sword and now after pressing some key in the game now the king is fighting with the spear this was the open close principle so now even if a manager or client comes up with a new character to be implemented in the game you just need to add a struct for that and write a functionality for use weapon and implement an interface to it this will do all the things for you without changing an existing functionality for other characters like king queen or soldiers so this was the open closed principle i hope you understood if you have some questions or doubts you can ask me in the comment section below we will come back soon with a new principle by that time please do like share and subscribe till then take care